You're listening to The Capital Table. Private capital markets have been evolving for many years, but never more so than in recent times. Take a seat at The Capital Table with leading experts discussing insights into the private equity and M&A worlds, and take away the knowledge you need to excel in a rapidly changing marketplace. We know this is one table you'll leave feeling full and satisfied. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of the Capital Table, which is our fourth edition of the Supply Chain Fast Five. Uh, this is Steve Brady, partner and market leader of Transaction Advisory at Witham, and excited to have back with us Travis Loomis uh, of our operations team. Hi, Steve. Happy to be back once again. Great. And looking forward to our next discussion on supply chain issues. So let's start, Travis, with a discussion on what is supply chain visibility? Sure. Supply chain visibility uh, is essentially just the ability to track components and finished goods as they move through the supply chain from raw materials to suppliers to manufacturers and then ultimately the end customer. So in order for a company to gain full visibility of their supply chain, they must have access to information and data throughout their journey. And so, in short, the greater the visibility into your operations, the better data that you can ultimately relay to the right people in order to continuously optimize your supply chain and ultimately have the agility to pivot when supply chain disruptions happen. That's interesting, Travis. So let's drill down a little bit deeper on that point. What are some examples of the importance of supply chain visibility? There are several. Um, I'll just list a few of them here. So one of them is the ability to meet your customer expectations. You know, visibility into your supply chain allows you to monitor the product quality, the cost, the lead times, uh, and keep customers informed of when they should expect to receive their order. And so customers expect the best experiences from the brands they buy from and failure to meet these expectations will result in customers ultimately looking elsewhere. Another is that companies can increase their operational efficiency um, by having an overview of all of the activities supporting the supply chain and the resources allocated to each one. It provides them with an insight into any inefficiencies, gaps, Uh, or bottlenecks that exist, as well as the knock-on or indirect effect uh, that they are having on other areas of the business. And so once these are identified, you can ultimately make the improvements to address them. And the efficiency of a company's supply chain has a big impact, obviously, on cost as well as profits. Um, Another big component uh, or uh, improvement of having the supply chain visibility is to ensure compliance. Uh, And so knowing which supply chain activities are taking place uh, is essential to ensure that you and your suppliers are meeting any regulatory requirements in each of the markets that you operate in. And obviously non-compliance with regulations can open up a whole litany of issues extending all the way to suspending operations. And so reducing the risk of financial as well as reputational consequences associated with that um, is paramount. And the last one that I'll mention here today is just the increased ability to anticipate any disruptions that may occur. You know, changes to the norm are commonplace nowadays and especially in supply chain management and full visibility of operations enables you to anticipate these changes a little bit more such as supplier shortages transportation delays uh, or fluctuations in any customer demand and so having that end-to-end visibility allows you to take immediate action in order to minimize any impacts on getting your product to your customers yeah, and certainly these are important areas for every business to focus on, but especially in these times with supply chain issues uh, seeming to change daily. Uh, but, you know, with that, in those issues that they confront, how can companies increase their supply chain visibility? One of the ways that they can do that is to integrate their systems. And so, Connecting people with applications uh, or even robots in some cases, uh, and then ultimately having information enables you to create a connected supply chain that eliminates any silos. And so that sort of proper integration 
provides a holistic view of all of the activities involved as well as how they're performing uh, in isolation as well as in relation to one another. They can also start to look at ways to work closer with uh, key stakeholders. And so sharing information across the network uh, increases transparency between suppliers, distributors, and retailers. And this makes it easier to track both the inputs as well as the outputs uh, and note any issues that may ultimately impact the final delivery of the product. A key part of this and almost a good starting point is to map the processes and detailing the individual steps within a process as well as the relationships between each step will provide that extra layer of understanding of the overall process execution. And again, as I mentioned before, this helps uncover those bottlenecks or any sort of redundant steps that are causing delays um, or issues that you may not have otherwise uh, um, realized. So once you have located those inefficiencies, you can then figure out um, and map and simulate alternative improved processes. And then um, another key piece, I know I keep saying that, but another key piece is to utilize uh, their existing data sets. Um, supply chain data provides uh, invaluable insight into a company's operations uh, and its and its performance against its metrics uh, and targets. And so analyzing the data collected from supply chain activities allows you to make informed decisions about where and how operations need optimization. So with all those opportunities, I'll say to improve uh, the visibility, how can automation improve the process for giving companies the visibility they need into their supply chain. Yeah, I'm actually really glad you brought that up because this is something I touched on during my last speaking engagement on building supply chain resiliency uh, and the melding of that with a company's digital transformation. Um, a major goal and outcome of building supply chain resiliency is gaining that better visibility uh, throughout a company's supply chain in order to build those comprehensive strategies to manage risks. And so a company's digital transformation journey absolutely will include modern supply chain technologies, which give businesses the resiliency uh, and a visibility to maintain uh, or increase their competitive edge um, and have the ability to respond quickly when upsets happen. And so automating processes within your supply chain in a single platform provides relevant parties with that centralized view of the people, processes, and systems across all operations. So some common examples of this are utilizing a transportation management system, which helps not only with scheduling, but can reduce logistics costs through route optimization. Another common one is real-time procurement cost tracking. A software like this not only provides the cost visibility, but can significantly reduce the time it takes throughout the purchase order management process, as well as the manual inputs. Another is leveraging AI and machine learning to increase demand forecasting accuracy. You know, there are so many ways companies can use automation tools to improve operations and enhance their supply chain visibility. And the benefits of using these are not only realized on the financial statements in terms of cost reductions, but in the long-term sustainability of those processes. Yeah, that's real interesting and certainly touching on some uses of cutting edge technology that can help companies improve this area of their businesses. But as we look ahead, do you see greater importance of supply chain visibility, you know, not only to the companies we're talking about, but to their customers? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, I absolutely do see this as something that will continue to grow uh, actually in tandem with a company's uh, ESG responsibilities, um, supply chain uh, in general, but supply chain visibility has so many areas that relate to the environmental component in ESG, such as monitoring energy usage, uh, capital efficiency, capacity management, freight emissions, uh, or even managing the reverse logistics processes, which can be an especially challenging area for a lot of companies. And so building that supply chain visibility allows you to manage and track each of those components when reporting out for ESG policies uh, and responsibilities. Uh, further than that, customers more frequently than ever want to know that the company that 
they are buying from is acting responsibly and can be upfront about the sourcing, the manufacturing, and the ultimate delivery of its products. And so this includes the visibility of tracking not just their tier one suppliers, but all the way down to the tier three, four, and even five. Uh, and knowing that each supplier that they choose to do business with is doing the right things uh, and engaging with their own set of responsible suppliers. You know, you've seen this most frequently in probably food and drink um, uh, industries, but it continues to be a key selling point uh, in many other industries, such as clothing brands uh, or even emerging new brands across a litany of technology industries. And so being able to provide that extra lens for customers allows you to benefit even further from making these investments in your supply chain visibility. Yeah, fascinating perspective from the customer point of view and, you know, touching on ESG and other, again, really prevalent issues that companies are wrestling with today. So, I mean, with that, Travis, uh, as we wrap up this episode, any final thoughts? You know, I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but it's worth repeating. It can be challenging to figure out where to start building your supply chain visibility. Um, one approach that I've found success with is to map the current processes at each step to determine if you have the right level of information to s satisfy your compliance requirements as well as make the informed decisions that you're looking for. And Doing this simple exercise can immediately help you pinpoint where you can start uh, and where you can find the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to building the new processes. Well, Travis, thanks again for joining us on the Capitol table and to our audience. Thanks and hope you picked up some of these really important cutting edge uh, ideas on supply chain visibility. And, uh, you know, again, Travis, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me once again, Steve. Take care, everybody. You've been listening to The Capital Table. For more information, please visit witham.com. Thank you for listening.